What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about uh, Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. Okay, so this time we're talking about pacing. Okay, so you will learn how to adjust the pace status of elements and change the view pace. Okay, so we are going to adjust the pace status of elements and then we're going to use pace filters. Okay, so what is pace? Okay, or paces. So you can find that here on the manage tab. So you can see here pacing. So that's your paces. It specifies project paces, pace filters, and graphic overrides for paces. So basically, paces allows Revit to be aware of time. Okay, so this is our view, right? So our views have two pacing parameters. So what are those? So if you're going to move your slider down of our view properties, you can see here we have two pacing parameters. So we have the pace filter show all by default and then we have pace here. So by default, we have here new construction. Okay, so remember you have two pacing parameters for your view. So you have pace filter and pace. Okay. So remember that one. And model elements also have two pacing parameters that control the pace status of the element. If I'm going to select an element here, this, this duck here, I'm going to select that. So you will see here on my uh, instance properties of my duck. So I have here two uh, pacing parameters. So I have pace created and then pace demolish okay so remember this one so your view for your view property so you have two pace uh, parameters so you have pace filter and then you have pace now for your model elements so you also have two uh, pace parameters so you have pace created and pace demolish Okay, so to control the paces in a project, so we can open our paces tool. So from the manage tab, so I have here the paces tool, and then I have my pacing dialog box. So I have three tabs here. So I have project paces, uh, pace filters, and graphic overrides. So the first tab here is project paces. Okay, so on our project paces, here you can create uh, multiple uh, paces so by default you have the existing pace and then you have new construction okay so on our project paces new paces can be added and the order of the paces can be adjusted by using before and after and then you can also combine the the, the paces that you have created so if you want to create a pace in between existing and new construction so you can select first your uh, pace number one and then you can select after Okay, or if you're if you're going to select new construction and then you want to create a pace between existing and new construction, so you can select uh, before. Okay, so meaning before new construction. Right? So another tab that you can use here is pace filters. So pace filters can be created and modify. So pace filters control how model elements appear according to the pace status. Like for example, what is the model will look like if it is a new elements, existing elements, demolished elements, and temporary elements. So you have uh, filters here. So you have show all, show complete, show demolition plus new elements. Uh, show new elements, so, uh, show previous elements plus demolition, show previous elements plus new construction, and show previous space. Okay, so for the example, for the show complete, so for the show complete, all elements, all new elements will be show, all existing elements will be show, but your demolished elements, it not going to be displayed same with your temporary elements because this is show complete already so it will show you the existing elements and then the new elements okay so as you can see here a uh, category by category that means that will gonna be the uh, elements the model elements uh, settings okay if it is um, overridden 
or override, the graphics will be controlled by the settings of the graphic overrides tab. Okay? Which is uh, this one. Okay? So remember, if the settings of your uh, elements here is set to overridden, okay? So meaning this is being controlled by the tab here. So if it is existing, this is the settings, demolish, this is the settings, new, this is the settings, and temporary. So you can modify this. So if it is uh, by category, that is the settings of your visibility graphic overrides. Remember the visibility graphic overrides, the VV, which is uh, this one. So this is the settings of your view elements if it is set to uh, by uh, category. Okay? by category so if it is overridden it is controlled by graphic overrides here okay so going back to paste filter so uh you also have here the not displayed so obviously that is self-explanatory so for the show complete uh paste here paste filter not displayed is your demolish elements and your temporary elements so this is our uh, these are all self-explanatory Okay, now for the, just remember for the by category, that is the settings of your visibility graphic overrides. So if it is uh, overridden, that is the settings of your graphic overrides here. Alright, so for this one, so let's say I want to change the settings of my demolish elements. So I want to change that to red. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to change this to color red. Okay. You can also change here the weight or the pattern. So I'll just select OK. And then this one, I'll select red here. OK. And then I'll select here OK. So now I'm going to close my pacing. OK. So I'll just select here OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the topmost run because I have uh, four runs here of my dock. So I'm just going to select the topmost. So hover the pointer. Press tab once to select all the the dock and then the fittings, the dock network, and then click to select. Okay, and then after that, for this one, I am going to change the pace of that one. So from the pacing here, so I'm going to set that to new construction by default, and then the demolish is none. So what will happen is you will be uh, you will be able to create a new element in new construction pace. Okay? So that's it. So I just changed that to new construction and then the pace demolish none. So I'm not going to demolish that. Okay, and then after that, on my second run here, so I'm going to hover my pointer, press tab, and then I'm going to click that. Okay, now for the uh, pace created, I'm going to put that on the existing existing pace so i created this one at the existing pace and then for the pace demolish i'll just set that to none and then i'll just press escape and as you can see now the settings here is like this one okay so pay attention on how the graphic display for the dock work updates so again the settings of this if i check the paces here graphic overrides so if it is like uh, existing, so the settings is like this one, gray. So that's why it's gray here, right? And for the paste filter, so let's have a look at this one. So currently, you can check here the filter. Okay, so these are the filter. And then if I'm going to check here the filter, so the filter here is show all. Okay, so our current filter for the view property or for our view the paste filter is show all so what is the setting of show all so let's go to paces paste filters and then this is the show all so as you can see here the settings for the new elements is set to by category so that's why you have this uh, elements here this is our uh, new elements right the new construction that's the reason why the settings is like this so that is the settings of the visibility graphic overrides and then for the existing it's set to overridden so that's why it looks like this this is our existing element why it becomes like this because the settings here on our graphic overrides is like this one for the existing okay so based on our 
uh, show all filter view filter okay next so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to select the bottom most run of duck work here this one so hover press tab and then click or you can click one hold control click the fittings and then click the other duck okay so select and then what we are going to do here is we're going to create a demolish elements in the new construction pace so what i'm going to do here is for the pace created i'm going to set that to existing and then for the pace demolish i'm going to set that to uh new construction new construction that's it and then i select your apply Okay, so if you do that, what will happen is you will be uh, you will be able to create a demolish elements in new construction pace. Okay, escape. So as you can see, it's now demolished like this. Why? Because our current settings here, our current pace is new construction. So we are now on the new construction pace. Okay, but if I'm going to change that to existing. We created this in existing, right? So if I select this one, this element was created in existing pace. So if I'm going to change the pace here to existing, it will become what? It will become solid color. So if I select that existing, so it will become their solid colors, right? So as you can see, all the elements disappear. Why? Because these are the only elements that was created in existing pace. All right. So I'm going to change that again to new construction. So now what will happen here is this one. Remember, we set that one to uh, demolish new construction. So meaning to say when we go to the new construction pace, these elements will gonna be demolished okay so right now we are on existing pace so if I change that to new construction pace you will notice that it will becomes demolished now okay why we are now in the new construction pace and then these elements are demolished in new construction pace okay so at first it is kind of confusing but as you use the pace, as you um, practice the pacing, you will be able to understand it. So it's just like the stages of your construction. So you have the existing, so you have the new construction, and then you can even create another uh, pace there. Okay, just by default, you only have uh, two pace here, existing and new construction. So for more information, you can also check my other videos regarding uh pacing so i have that i have one in architectural uh playlist so i have a pacing topic there so you can just search that on my channel for review after this one okay so i'm gonna cancel this one so we are now done with this so by the way if you are using a revit uh, 2021 below you will be seeing an error appears okay so an error will appear once you made your elements demolish okay so an error appears stating that the elements need to be disconnected so this is because demolish elements cannot remain connected like this one so this one we didn't receive any error right because we are using the latest version but if you are using the lower version like Revit 2021, you will be seeing an error appear stating that the elements need to be disconnected. Why? Because demolished elements cannot remain connected. Okay, so you just need to click disconnect if you are using lower version. But since we are using uh, Revit 2024, there is no error that uh, pops up. Okay. Right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select our last run here. So hover your pointer, press tab, and then click. Okay, and then on my paste created, I'm going to make that, okay, so new construction. And then for the paste demolish, this is going to be like new construction as well. So meaning you are creating a temporary elements. Apply, and then uh, escape. 
So this is a temporary element. Why? You are in the new construction phase, and then you create this uh, duct, for example, and then you have demolished that during the new construction as well. So like, for example, so today you, you put that duct, and then after next month, which is still in the new construction phase, you demolish it. So meaning to say that it's just a temporary element. So that is what will happen if you set your elements paste, uh, paste created to new construction and then paste demolished to new construction as well. Okay, so what uh, do you think what will happen if you change the paste here to existing? Okay, so let's see. If you are thinking that it will disappear, you are correct. Why? Because we are on the existing pace. So that two ducts that we have here were created and demolished <laughs> during the new construction pace. But now we are on existing uh, pace. So that's why it disappears. Okay? So if I select new construction pace, it will appear. That one. There you go. Okay, and also another thing that you need to understand, depending on the project, the paces in the host model may need to be mapped to the paces in our link model. Okay, so to show you, I'm going to select the link model, which is this one, and then from the edit type, I'm going to select this, and then from the type properties, move the slider down, and then look for pace mapping. Okay, so you can select your edit, and then you can change. So this is our current pace, existing, and the new construction. And this is the pace on the link model, which is already set to existing and new construction, which is what I want, okay? Right? So after that, I'll just select here, okay, and okay. So basically, that's the basic of your pacing, which... Uh, making you aware of time when using uh, Revit during the construction, okay? So in this exercise, uh, you have learned how to create a new construction elements, uh, existing elements, and then what else? Demolish elements here, and then you have here your temporary elements, okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video. Just keep on practicing. Any question, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.